Hello, and welcome to the good, the bad, and the old. With old people on the rise, it is our duty to warn you about those bad little nuts. Bad little nuts indeed, Colin. For the most part, old people are loving, caring human beings, but in every haystack you have at least one needle. They may seem loving and caring at first, but that's definitely not the case for some. That's right, Ariana. Take for example John young Johnny Yellowwood. While strolling down an alley at night, which most people do, Johnny was approached by this man. Shocking Rambot him. Like many other old people, Shorty has a keen attraction to young children. Shorty asked where Johnny and his parents were, and without hesitation, handed him one puppy. That was all fine and all. Puppies are cute, but he proceeded to invite little Johnny Yellowwood onto his bicycle. Johnny got on and was never seen again. It is presumed that Johnny was eaten by the puppy, and police are no longer searching for him. If you see Johnny, please call his mother. She's looking for him. That's quite the story, Ariana. What do you feel about uh, old people handing people puppies? <laughs> if an old person handed me a puppy, I'd take it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a, I even love if it's like dogs. a little killer puppy from old I, people. I want any type of puppy. Mm -hmm. I, old puppy, you know. Old puppies? That's dogs. The, dogs. I love dogs. All around dogs. All around dogs. Every kind of dog is a puppy. Right. All of them. They are, they are, that is true, but uh, mm -hmm. it seems that um, it's a little strange that old people are handing out puppies. And I'm just I'm just questioning why no old person's handing out puppies in my neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? I would like a puppy myself, too. Mm. That's all right. Well, we're going to throw it out to our reporter in the field to see what old people are doing online. Old people, they do a lot of the same things we do. They swim, they play golf. They watch TV, they play video games, they even have romantic relationships just like us. That's fine, some relationships are normal, but some take it further than others. For this experiment, we had an undercover officer by the name of Hasselhoff58. He registered online on several matchmaking websites, such as Match.com and SeniorsMeet.com. In less than a day, he received over 63 messages from various men and women online asking to meet up. Our first message is from Jane Longflap, screen name Hangin' Low 55. Hey, are you looking for some fun? Uh, <laughs> what did you have in mind? Well, I thought we could try a few things, check if it still works. Hundreds of chats like these happen every day without us knowing. But these things still happen, so when you're exploring online, meeting new people, just be careful. Thank you. Back to you in the studio. Dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. But what if I told you, with the fairy godmother, all your dreams can come true, without the need to count sheep. With a little bit of bippity, some boppity, and a whole lot of booze, Every taste of the fairy godmother is guaranteed to grant all you seek. Every sip from this is a wish you can't miss. Here's how to order. To order, just call 1-800-BELIEVE. The fairy godmother is not available in stores. You must be 21 years or older to call. Call now. Wow, scary stuff. I guess we should be careful while on the internet. Right, Ariana. Old people on the internet can be really dangerous. We have Sinclair here ready to tell us about some exciting stuff. Sinclair, take it away. Thanks, Colin. It may seem like I'm driving, and I am. I am, you know, who else is driving a car right now? Real old people. Several studies show that many old people cannot see Alex's Mini Cooper at intersections and almost hit him. I propose we have yearly driving tests after the age of 65. This will revoke many licenses and keep the streets safer. Also, police officers need to worry less about weed and arrest from old people or give them a ticket. That's all for now. Back to you, studio. Wow, that's uh, quite an interesting story, Sinclair. Thank you for telling about the old people in the, uh, on the streets. Well, that's all for us today. Thank you for tuning in to the good, the bad, and the old. We'll see you later. <laughs>